Hey, what is going on everybody? Boylan here and welcome back to another video on Marvel Strike Force. Are you ready for the Spider Society? I sure am. Now, you may know a little bit about what I'm going to be talking about here in today's video. There was a video the other day, uh, exclusive interview with Benny Westside and developer Matt Sheets. But in today's video, we're going to be going over all five of the character kits, including, you can see on the screen here, the three new characters coming to the game, Peter B. Parker, Penny Parker, and Spider-Man Paviter uh, from the Across the Spider-Verse movie. And we also have the reworks to Ghost Spider and Spider-Man Noir to talk about. So we're going to go over the uniques for these new characters and what you need to know about them because let me know or l let me tell you that these character kits are um they're getting pretty long so we're going to try and make some sense of this together and understand exactly what you need to know so if you are ready to go everybody let's boil this down And starting this video off, we're here to talk about Penny Parker. Now, I don't know if I said this in the intro, I don't remember now, but this is the skill raid team. So all of the characters do have skill as their secondary origin, and then they have a separate main origin. In this case, Penny Parker is tech skill. Though what's interesting is that her primary gear pieces are actually skill. So the highest level uh, gear pieces are in fact skill. She's actually three gear pieces, or if you think about it in the minis context, like Three equipment pieces for skill is what she needs to upgrade. Also, her unique is Fortified Chromium. So this hasn't been used in a hot second. Some ones to note would have been uh, Big Time Spider-Man and Archangel, I think, and Zombie Iron Man, maybe. I can't remember now. Uh, so it's not heavily used. Like I, I have quite a bit of these left over to upgrade for Penny Parker, so that's always good. Uh, her tags, though, is Hero, City, Skill Tech, Protector. She is the protector of the team, but she does not taunt. So we're going to start off with her passive because it's uh, a bit of an essay. So on spawn, if this character does not have barrier, this is really important because that means you do not want to have a fortifier ISO with Penny Parker because otherwise this is not going to happen. So bury yourself or uh, sorry, and all hero spider verse allies for 15% of this character's max health. So the, there's going to be either call call outs to hero spider verse or Spider Society, the main team, of course. This might be some allusion to future theory crafting for Alliance War, Cosmic Crucible, things like that, or other things down the line as well. Generate one ability energy for self and all Spider Society allies and in raids. So that's outside of raids. In, and to deflect as well. In raids, though, five additional ability energy for self and all Spider Society allies. So that's a lot, right? And in raids, apply offense down to all enemies on spawn. So huge. Again, you're getting that mitigation of damage right at the start of the turn. On end of turn, this is any character's turn. Uh, if this character does not have barrier, barrier yourself to the whole team again for 10% of her max health. So, I mean, I guess you want her to lose the barrier. That way it triggers this because basically you're always going to have a little bit of barrier, I suppose. But only if she doesn't have barrier, not the rest of the team. It also fills speed bar by 5% for self and the rest of the team as well. Uh, this does not appear to be in raids. It seems to be just in general. And then on block by this character or a hero spider verse ally, clear a random negative effect on this character. So if they block, there's gonna be a lot of deflex going around the team. Uh, they're gonna be clearing their own negative status effects. When this character or a spider society ally gains disrupted, clear a random effect from self and all spider society allies so if they get disrupted it's likely going to get cleared so really really good uh she basically she she's not tanking but she's doing basically everything else that needs to be done to you know help the team while this character has deflect lower the crit chance and crit damage of all enemies by 25 percent. that's pretty huge as well again outside of raids a lot of these things actually surprisingly seem to be outside of raids a 100 resistance for every deflect on this character and they can stack up pretty high with Penny Parker. 50% uh, armor, and the team gets 50%. 25% uh, max health, and Hero Spider-Verse, the, the team gets 25% more. And in raids, an additional 50% health. So in total, Spider Society in raids gets 75% max health from Penny Parker. I actually think there's a lot of other passes for possibly for max health as well. So pretty crazy to start with. Now, we're going to go with the, we're going to go backwards. So we're going to go to the ultimate here. And uh, this one's pretty cool. I mean, they're just so long, though. The texts are so long. Clear all negative effects from self and all allies. And then clear all positive effects on the primary target 
apply, slow, and stun. Now, unfortunately, this is a really long, uh, long ability energy cooldown. So outside of raids, could be a bit of an issue. You're not going to get to this more than once, most likely. I, you may not necessarily get to this. You probably get it once. But it's an AoE attack for 500%. If this character has barrier, gain 50% extra damage of uh, extra damage for this attack. It's quite a bit and very likely to have barrier for each deflect on Penny Parker. Uh, then apply one bleed up to a max of five to everyone. So again, really utilizing that deflect mechanic. Apply ability block to all support enemies. And so far, all this is outside of raids. Apply one deflect up to a max of five to self and all allies. And then counter death proof defense up to all allies as well for two turns. Just crazy. You know, lots of buffs. And this is the kicker in raids and what makes her so important in raids. Apply trauma to all enemies for this attack and apply safeguard for two turns to self and all spider spider society allies. So this is really, really important and it's unavoidable. Cannot be blocked. So crazy, crazy attack and so important that you get that up right away uh, because that's what's going to help them stay alive, uh, both with the trauma on the enemies and the safeguard to your team. Her special neon blitz. 220% uh, damage and slow and stun to the primary target. It does hit adjacent targets and does bleed and heal block. Uh, again, the whole thing with, you know, with with Penny is that if she has a barrier, that she does more damage, essentially. So you're probably going to realize this more, I think, when she's higher stars. I think free to play, like low stars, you're not going to kind of notice this kind of damage. But uh, at high stars, I bet, you know, you definitely will, especially when they become farmable. Clear all negative effects and apply stealth to two of the most injured hero Spider-Verse allies and then apply deflect immunity and offense. So tons of buffs. She just chucks out buffs everywhere. And the basic attack primary target for 260 and clear three positive effects. And if she has, again, I'm not going to keep you know repeating that part uh, because it's the same on every skill. More deflect to the team and the hero Spider-Verse. And then she also generates one ability energy on the basic to the Spider Society team outside of raids as well. And so I think this makes her a pretty good candidate for striker. However, at low stars, because of all of the debuffs she chucks out, I'm going to be a little bit skeptical that you may need to run her as a skirmisher uh, when she does come out. If you're only like three or four star, this kind of reminds me of like, I don't know if you guys remember like Sunspot and Nightcrawler when they first came out, like they kind of struggled to land debuffs on uh, some of the higher difficulty raids. So that's going to be one of my concerns going forward when this character comes out. That's Penny Parker. And coming in at number two, we have Spider-Man Pavita from India. And this is the character from Across the Spider-Verse, for those of you who have seen the movie. Now, he is Hero City Bio Skill, and he's a brawler. Okay, so now as far as his unique goes, he is Titanium Alloy, the unique that you might be familiar with, like Doc Ock and Cyclops, just off the top of my head without actually knowing the entire list. Now, as far as his gear goes, though, like Penny, a lot of the primary gear pieces are skill-based. He does have bio gear in the armor and damage category. However, his main items are skill based. So keep that in mind as well. That's similar to Penny, whereas her uh, alternative pieces were, were tech based. And so we're going to start again with the passive. So this character is all about speed, both speed up for the team, slow for the enemies and taking advantage of that. Now on spawn, he's got a pretty critical thing here that he applies to vulnerable to all enemies on spawn. This makes it pretty good to have some of these characters striker, just like Penny and, you know, even some of these other newer characters. But like I said, you know, if they're going to be at low stars and if they're not maxed out, there's a chance that you might run into a focus issue. That's my concern uh, going forward. So we'll have to see how they play out in gameplay. Uh, in raids, apply slow for three turns and trauma to one turn to the enemy with the highest speed. So that part's huge, right? Like all enemies are getting oh sorry no it's just a single character now i think this might be a call out to a specific character i don't know if this is a call out to like quicksilver or something i honestly do not know the skill nodes very well i do not do them i don't run them because my alliance is not that hardcore so let me know in the comments down below if the, if you think this is at least an incursion too this is a call out to a specific character i for three turns i'm almost thinking it's like something like quicksilver but i i don't know on turn end for every enemy with slow gain plus one speed up for him uh up to a max of five so that's pretty much always going to he's always going to have speed up in raids. If this character has speed up, enemies cannot gain speed up. OK, so they're already blocking that, which is pretty huge uh, for each speed up on this character. Gain 5% drain and 20% focus. So he could have up to 25% drain and 100% focus, which is pretty big. So he might not need skirmisher that much because if he's getting all this additional focus from his passive and things like that that could basically circumvent that as or the need for that. And he's also getting additional focus here. 
uh, crit chance and crit damage for himself. He's also going to spread that to the team. And so you might wonder, well, you know, are they going to run into focus issues? They they might not at lower difficulty, but when they scale the resistance on enemies at higher difficulties, it still very well could be, especially at low stars. So do keep that in mind. So it basically spreads those stats uh, to the team as well. And in raids, it's even higher. So honestly, I'm pretty sure the whole team gets 60% crit chance and 40% crit damage in raids for Spider Society. So that is pretty crazy here when you think about it. Uh, it's a lot of additional stats there. Again, you are getting a lot of focus, but, you know, even with focus passives, you can still get resisted on those higher difficulties. So just keep that in mind. Uh, we the, have the ultimate Mumbatan Slam, attack primary and adjacent targets for 400% damage and apply defense down for two turns and apply slow, plus two slow, actually, up to a max of five. Rebound to six targets, like, holy crap, more slow, and it does more damage against targets with slow. Clear slow from your side of the table and then apply plus two speed to all hero allies. So that's not even just spider versus it's just all heroes across the board. And for every enemy with slow, bury yourself and hero spider verse for 5%. That's not a lot, but it does say for every enemy. So this could potentially be 5% per character on the, the field. Uh, so that could actually amount to quite a bit, which is pretty good. Uh, the special stylish slinger primary target for 360 offense down for two turns and slow more slow right the rebound chain lots of rebounding more slow so you know up to a max of the clear positive effects so pretty pretty big lots of slow being involved here he applies speed up uh to up to three most injured hero spider versus ally so again utilizing that slow giving speed up to the team and what that does for him basic uh again more just like it seems like every character like penny does and takes advantage of certain things or gets buffs when he, when she has a uh, deflect for example this is all about the enemy having slow, uh, basically doing more slow, uh, rebounding to more targets and doing slow and damage and then applying speed up to a red of ally. Um, now, this part's interesting. If this character and all allies have speed up, fill speed bar by 5% for self and all spider society allies. So this could be a very good striker attack as well. Like I said before, my biggest concern is whether or not that without skirmisher, they are able to land their debuffs fine at higher difficulties. And that's something that I'm going to be looking out for. And if you can do that, then Striker would probably be the very best for that because some of the other characters like Ghost Spider and Spider-Man Noir are very likely to be running Raider anyway, so that's going to put out additional vulnerabilities beyond the plus two that he puts to everyone on spawn, which is very cool. So there we go. That's Spider-Man Paviter, and we're moving on to number three. And number three is uh, Peter B. Parker. So you might have seen this in the interview the other day, at least uh, the character anyways, and knew that he was coming. So he is the support character. He's the healer of the team. Hero City Bio Skill Support. Uh, his unique is Experimental Formula, a.k.a. Oz Formula. And his main gear pieces are actually Bio, I think, or it's a mixture. Bio Skill and Skill. So two Skill, one Bio for the main pieces and he has alternative bio and skill pieces that are like lesser. So he's still three pieces, uh, but it's two, whatever I just said, two bio, one skill. <laughs> so that's it there. And so his passive baby on board on spawn. This is where the team just gets a crap ton of on spawn buffs. Okay. Two death proof, two defense up two deflect two regen in raids apply plus one safe hard. So all of that stuff to spider society in raids on turn, prolong the duration. Now this, Pre on his turn on other turns i think it's on other characters turns but i don't know uh prolong the duration of all positive effects by plus one on the most injured hero spider verse ally and apply assist now to the highest damage hero spider verse ally when this character or any hero spider verse ally is attacked so this is a healing retaliation uh heal the most injured hero spider verse ally or self for 20 percent of this character's max health so Keep in mind, remember that Ghost Spider has a damage retaliation. Now, Peter B. Parker has a healing version when the, the team gets attacked, basically. If the attacked character had vulnerable, clear vulnerable from this character and all Spider Society allies. This part's interesting because we know that ISOs are on characters, on enemies in raids. And so if this happens, basically you're clearing your own vulnerability, which has I don't think has ever been a thing before. So this is a new mechanic, I believe. And this part is actually outside of raids. It's not a raid thing, just to look at it again. And then he gains assist chance plus 10% per Spider Society ally. This is going to be up to 50%. So he's assisting. You might think that that might give him a good uh, opportunity for a skirmisher, which very well could. Uh, skirmisher or striker, probably. And then more max health. 
So 50% max health to the team and 50% resistance. So Penny Parker had 75. That's 125 total now, max health to the team. In raids, even more resistance for the team. And if this character has three or more Spider Society allies, this the whole team cannot gain defense down. So that is huge as well. So really adding to that mitigation factor uh, that basically none of the team can have defense down ever. Obviously, the enemies could still have offense up, uh, but there's going to be no negative effects on defense down for your team in raids only, though. Now, his ultimate, Daddy Daughter Day. Attack primary target and adjacent targets for 440, plus apply disrupt for two turns and offense down for two turns, and then you're clearing all negative effects. I, I, it's, it's unfortunate it's not first, because when it comes to support characters, I prefer the cleansing to come at the start and then do damage and things like that, because I feel like if you have offense down or anything like that, it's going to do a little bit less. Clear all negative effects from self and team. It's Hero Spider-Verse, but I'm just going to say team. Uh, defense up for two turns to the team and apply immunity to the team. Uh, regen for one. Another, oh, there's like just lots of regen. Okay, you can read it here. It's, it's kind of confusing, actually. Apply three counter to the Hero Spider-Verse ally with the highest damage. Again, SA kits. And then healing for 25% and all allies. So that's interesting because it's not just... Spider-Verse or Spider-Society, it's, it's everyone. So he actually gets to heal everyone for once. And in Raze, they heal more. So 50% healing if they're Spider-Society, 25% for everyone else. That's good because I'm so sick of like healers for most teams, like not healing other characters. It's usually just their team. A lot of the raid healers have been doing that lately. Special, Mayday's first view. And then we have, first web, sorry. Attack primary and adjacent targets for 360. Clear all positive effects and apply offense down for two turns. Now, I do want to say what I really like about his skills. Very low cooldowns. Three. And even the ultimate's not that bad either. Uh, clear heal block from self and all spider society allies and more regen. And then heal the most injured hero spider verse ally for 30%. And then apply offense up to the ally with the highest damage. And then calling in a character. Uh, the basic morning routine. Offense down for two turns and apply regen and apply evade. This is good too. So this is a good striker ability actually. So having more evades, more regens and things like that. Uh, but I could see Skirmisher being very good. But the only thing is that his assist chance is only 50% with the full team. So you're not always going to get that. It still might be worth having though. And uh, he, does, he does apply debuff. So he would get to take use of of skirmisher but it's not as crazy as some of the other characters so that is peter b parker and let's talk about some of the reworks that happened to ghost spider and spider-man noir okay and so for the purposes of the rework we're going to be referring to the pdf file that we were given on spider society because i want to show you the differences basically between the old version of these characters and the new ones so Ghost Spider is gaining the skill trait but uh as far as i'm aware the gear is still staying the same uh, so Ghost Spider is primarily bio and Spider-Man Noir is primarily is is fully. I don't know why I said primarily fully mystic. Uh, and so all the gear is staying the same as far as I'm aware. Ghost Spider stats, they're increased here. Now, uh, Ghost Spider was actually like, the best character on the Web Warriors team. So I don't think she really needed a lot of help, to be honest. I think it's Spider-Man Noir who's probably going to benefit more from this kind of stuff because people felt that he was a bit even on the, you know, even on uh, Tangled Web felt that he was a bit lackluster. So I'm not going to go over the entire kit, and I hope that you're somewhat familiar with the Ghost Spider character. And if you're not, you know, go back and read the kit here. You can kind of see it here. But as far as the the new stuff goes on the basic uh, in raids, basically kind of removing that stuff about the blind with miles, I believe. And then now in raids, if the primary target is slow, apply blind and bleed for that one. Uh, and then the yeah, same thing for the ISO attack and the special, which is where she does the slows and the ability blocks. Now you're applying assist now to one random Spider Society or Spider-Man Miles ally. So that's the only thing there. The damage numbers are the same. Ultimate web snare though. This was like the Hella attack, right? This is where she spreads the negative status effects, although she does not spread ability block, unfortunately. Now, if this character has three or more allies, clear taunt from all enemies. For better or for worse, uh, I mean, this is going to be really good when it comes to autoing, I think. For simming because a lot of the characters are going to be like on one character and then she's going to spread all those negative status effects. So I think this kit is probably what's going to facilitate a lot of the ability to sim. Hopefully, uh, you know, we'll find out about that. And the passive is very much the same. It just does more. So if you guys remember, it's the retaliate. People attack the characters and she like she, she does damage back to them. Right. Uh, and now that's basically added to the spider society and she also gives them stealth if they drop under 50% health. 
uh, and then the retaliate when they get hit. And in raids, this does she gains more damage. So even more damage, 25% more damage in raids. And if this character has three or more Spider Society allies gain an additional 50. So it's 75% damage to herself. It's insane. So I expect her numbers to be very, very good, at least in raids with the team. She also gives Spider Society allies 25% damage and then on spawn speed up and evade to the entire team. So... If you looked, if you remember, Peter B. Parker also had a crap ton of on spawn buffs. Yeah. On top of this, like they had, they're going to have like a whole slew, uh, like six or seven on spawn buffs. It's going to be, they're probably going to have everything honestly on spawn. So pretty crazy. Uh, and then on spawn, if this character has four or more hero spider verse allies generate two ability energy for five random hero spider verse allies that were not a full energy. So this combined with Penny Parker, I think it's pretty much going to like give them full energy at the start of the battle. Pretty much. Uh, then we have Spider-Man Noir, who's down here. You can see that he gained a fair bit as well and gained the skills just like all of them. And as far as the basic goes, uh, he does gain evade and regen on his basic. So I don't think that's enough to really justify a striker. I think you're probably still going to keep him as a raider. I think a lot of people do that anyways, I think. So that's probably what you're going to want to keep for him. Uh, his special now ignores taunt when he does the follow up attack uh, taunt and stealth, actually. Uh, and then he does clear taunt on the special as well. Uh, I'm not super familiar, again, with the skill raid lane, at least right now. Uh, maybe there's a lot of characters with taunt, and that's why there's a lot of these mechanics you're seeing right now on the characters that involve clearing taunt. So either something right now or something upcoming uh, on Incursion 3 when it does eventually come out. Ultimate Lead Rain in raids. This clears all regen from primary and adjacent targets on top of the damage. And this gains a 1000% focus for the attack, which presumably also includes the extra bleeds that it's going to do for all of that as well. So that's nice to guarantee the bleed damage, I guess. That's pretty cool. Uh, but otherwise, not much change there. The passive, though, on spawn, if health is full, gain revive once uh, with 50% of this character's max health. I think it might have been a... Was it a Crucible thing before? Yeah, in Crucible. It was specific to Crucible. Uh, gain plus one stealth. In raids, gain plus one offense up on spawn and speed bar by 25%. So he's... I think he's the first one to go. Especially because he also has this thing about, you know, turn bar when, when characters get positive effects as well. Uh, if they do. So I think he's most likely to go first. Uh, and then he gains more damage. He has a new 25% damage passive. He also shares it with the team as well, Spider-Verse specifically, and in raids, he gains 50% more, just like Ghost Spider does, and to the team. So tons of damage passives, just, lots of passives just being chucked around. So that's everything. And the last thing I want to show you guys, for those of you guys who were following the whole way through, you know, I have this table here just basically talking about all the passives and all the stat passives that they have. So Ghost Spider, 25% damage to self. In raids, she gets 75% total, and then the team gets 25%. Uh, damage in raids spider-man noir gains we just talked about him 25 percent, but up to 75 percent for self and team in raids uh, then we have uh spider paviter gives all of those crit chance crit damage and focus to the team even more in raids to the spider society allies penny parker gives armor and max health up to 75 percent max health total to the team and 50 percent armor and then peter b parker gives more max health and more resistance and even more resistance in raids. So I think pretty much all of the stats are covered at this point, and there's like a crap ton of health and a crap ton of damage across the team. So uh, stats wise, they're going to be pretty good. Uh, it's just that we'll have to see their free to play viability. That's what I'm going to call it, because realistically, at the end of the day, is a three or four star character going to get you through the highest raids? And that's the next question, which I cannot answer right yet. But let me know what you think about this team in the comments down below. And then I think a lot of people are excited for a skill raid team anyways, and they're spiders. I know what people are going to say uh, that this is wild, that their skill. And yes, this is probably the biggest shocker that I had when I learned about this, because it's a bit of a stretch uh, for me personally. But hey, it is what it is, and it's boundless. So at the end of the day, we're getting a new skill raid team. So that's going to be the end of this video, everyone. And until next time, stay safe and healthy, and I'll see you all later. Oil on signing out.